skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters and some very slow ones. this one. me out here with my heart in my hand. Oh, my own shit. 
shadow. I don't have time for those incapable of greatness. There's not enough time to be. Who the hell are you? Come back! Let's see this through! Together! Bribery. Then you'll want some fella in my privy advising how I defecate. What's next? Martial law? Perfect phosphor frequency. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system, just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen. And it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it.
How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Eat for that? Just tell me what you want. So tell me what something is simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's secret lap. Mud bald, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra, then everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters, and you smart lady, you find it. Should have seen that one coming. Prep to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. Box Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one.
ministers. Address your order promptly. Who's out there? There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that. Fire that bird. Inside, I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. Yeah, well, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Got the clock key. Humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Oh! 
ripe in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about, but I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371.
not forever. To what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you... Elizabeth. I'm not Booker. And neither am I. makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables.
That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. You wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and... Songbirds to little girls? Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint. So I left them to die. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. It must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? I tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong must take an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers! Spread out! Girl. 
Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. But she chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past there damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not going to break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Pretty Lily has the hair. Deal is deal. Bring it to Su Chong. Pretty Lily put hair sample in two. Then business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. <laughs> 